Becoming a police officer is a process that requires hard work, dedication, and lots of training. And that goes for all police officers, whether they walk on two or four legs. 74's Brett Cass gives us a behind the scenes look at a police school for canines in Clare County. Drago, Jack. Back in the woods at Camp Rotary in Clare. Good boy. School is in session. Good boy. Good boy. And these students are eager to learn. Uh, Drago's a great dog. Great dog. He's a very social dog, but he really wants to work hard. Good boy. Adam Vershave is a patrolman with the Traverse City Police Department, and he's eager to begin working with his new sidekick, Drago. It's going to be a great benefit to the city. Um, we hope to put him to good work and, and do lots of good things. Like Drago, Cato is another canine in training, except he'll be patrolling the streets of Roscommon County with his handler, Andrew O'Neill. Cato's very good at narcotics work. Um, his tracking's phenomenal and his bite works good too. It shows you how quick they are. And who's responsible for training all these pups? He's letting go of the one and grabbing the other one before, there we go. Before we that would be Brian Gregory, who's not only the owner of Northern Michigan Canine, he's also one of the owners of Cops and Donuts and the police chief for the city of Clare. I'm actually working two jobs, so yeah, it keeps me, it keeps me busy, but this is truly my passion. Gregory has been working with canines for more than 30 years and feels strongly about the purpose they serve. I think they help save lives. They, they give police officers opportunities to stay one step ahead of who they're looking for. So while Drago and Cato continue their month-long training, Shook? sniffing out narcotics, oh. and catching bad guys, oh boy. not only do they get closer to patrolling the streets, oh boy. they also become closer to their new handlers. Uh, from the 3rd of April when we got here, we've been together 24-7, so it's, it's a bonding experience. Uh, he's with us at the hotel, he went with me home last weekend. Um, so we're, we're with each other the entire time now. In Clare County, Good boy. Brett Cast, 7 and 4 News. Aw, the training takes place in Clare County, but they never train in the same location more than once. After training is complete, Drago will come home and live with Officer Vershave, his wife, and their young son, who, Vershave says, is thrilled to welcome Drago to the family.